This is Ben McGahey with Yammy Chess. I'm going to be your math teacher today. Yammy Chess is the math learning aid based on classic chess that helps students in math and science education for school. In this lesson, we will learn about basic shapes in geometry, as well as geometric solid figures. So the four important shapes that we're going to learn today are the triangle, square, rectangle, and circle. So the triangle um, is a shape that has three sides. One, one, two, three. And notice that uh, T-R-I, tri, that means three. So that's the easiest way to remember it. The triangle has three sides. The next shape that we'll look at it's called the square. It actually has four sides. And notice that with the square that all of the sides have the same length. So the square has four sides and all the sides have the same length. Now the next shape is a rectangle. It also has four sides, like the square, but not all of the sides are the same length. The left and right sides opposite of each other are the same length, and then the opposite sides on the top and bottom are the same length as well. So only the um, opposing sides that are parallel to each other that go in the same direction are the same length. And then finally we come to our last shape, the round shape called the circle. And unfortunately the circle has no sides, but it's still a very special shape. And we'll see why that is when we do the geometric solid figures. Now if we look at our geometric solid figures, we notice that we can form um, these figures using one or more of the four basic shapes that we just talked about. So like for example, the triangular prism can be formed using the triangle and the rectangle. So the triangle is formed in the front and the back and then the sides are, are formed from the rectangle. And in the real world, you see a triangular prism maybe represented in the form of like a, a tent. So an important object you would see is the tent. You may even see um, there's a special type of chocolate uh, candy bar, a Toblerone, which is um, actually in this shape of a triangular prism that you would buy at uh, you know Walmart. Also, another solid figure that we have is called the cube. And the cube is actually formed um, from the shape of the square. So notice that the sides are still the same. And the cube has um, six sides. And we see cubes, you know, in our ice trays when we want to do ice cubes for our drinks. We have cubes when we roll die or dice for a board game and there's many other places where we see cubes like in boxes and then our last geometric solid figure that we want to look at is called the spear and and the spear is actually um, you know a three-dimensional object formed by, by the circle and so some good examples, you know, that we see with spears are like with um, basketballs or when shooting basketball or, you know, bowling balls or just any kind of ball that we're using that um, we could play with in a game. So those are good examples of um, for a spear.
And so let's just review the basic shapes that we went over. We went the triangle, three sides, square, four sides, all of them have the same length. Rectangle also has four sides, but unlike the square, only the opposite sides have the same length. And then the circle is the round um, shape, which has no sides. And then we had the triangular prism, which was formed, you know, from the triangle in the front and the back, and then the rectangle on the sides, and also on the bottom as well. And then we have the cube, which is formed from the square, and it has six sides. All sides are same length. And then we have the spear, which is formed three-dimensional form of the circle. Okay, so I have some problems for you to try on your own. I actually have four problems. The first problem asks, how many sides does a triangle have? How many sides does a triangle have? And the second problem asks, which, say, which shape <laughs> has no sides? Which shape has no sides? Third question is, name this shape, which is right here name this shape and then fourth question is name this solid figure so the solid figure and then which shape is used to create this figure so I'll give you time to think about those and answer them and then um, if you need to rewind the video and to review um, the shapes in geometric solid figures uh, feel free to do so and then we'll go over the answers. Okay, so let's go over the first question. How many sides does a triangle have? So we'll go back to our um, shape. And so here is the triangle. So we notice that the triangle has one two, three sides, so three sides for the triangle. Okay, so next question is which shape has no sides? So we go here and we notice that with the circle it's round, it actually has no sides. The circle has no sides. And then for question three, name this shape. So this one is the four-sided figure. It looks like with the opposite sides are the same length. So let's see, which one was that? That was the, the rectangle, right? Yep, the rectangle. Rectangle. And then in question four, it says to name this solid figure. And so which shape is used to create this figure? So the solid figure, it looks like it would be the, it's like it'd be the cube, right? And the shape that is used to create the cube would be the square. So we know this is a cube, and then we know the square is used to create this figure. Okay, so let's check our answer key. So we had three sides for a triangle, circle had no sides, rectangle was that shape. And then the solid was the cube, which is formed by the basic shape, the square. So 
So this is Ben McGahey, and I want to thank you for watching this lesson on uh, geometry with basic shapes. Please stay tuned for more lessons on GammyChess.com. Have a great day.